Mike, what do you tell the guys after a game like that one today? Oh, that, uh, you know, we just didn't, didn't do enough to, to win, uh, starting with me, uh, the coaching staff, and the players. And, you know, it's, it's frustrating that, you know, there's some close opportunities. When you look at the film, it won't be, you know, as bad as we think, and it and certainly uh, won't, be, won't be as good. Um, but because there's some opportunities. It's like defensively, you know, good play, good play, conversion, you know, X play. Red zone stop, red zone stop, you know, touchdown on third down. Offensively, positive play, uh, self-inflicted wound. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's uh, certainly frustrating. But, uh, you know, we have to find a way to uh, keep improving and, and not let that uh, derail uh, what, what we have to do each week. Is as frustrating as it is, mm, come in, you're ready to work. And, and find the answers. You usually really hold the timeouts for the end, end of the half. You were using them for, for third downs in the, in the first half. What's, what's your change of thinking there? Uh, those were, again, going back, Paul, I've always tried to mitigate those situations, right? I've had, uh, thinking back of many years ago, third and 12 on the minus 25. You know, not using one there, the chances of converting. Um, trying to figure out, like, hey, unfortunately, we're in this situation. We're, we're at the snap count. We're at the play clock. And third and three, thought that was probably an opportunity that we could have converted. You know, we've been, been okay when we've been in those down distances. You know, trying to use those um, judgments to, to when I think, you know, I would rather, obviously, never have to use them uh, until – you know, the end of the half or, or, or situations, right? Whether it's the challenge and that you need them to challenge a play or that you, you're going to need them to, to maybe get a end of half or, or end of game situation. So, you know, basically the overriding point is that the operation uh, is critical so that we don't have to use uh, th those timeouts. I know Will took a sack that got you out of field goal range. How did you say, how, how'd you grade how he did and maybe? I'm not going to grade anybody other, other than not good enough. Quicker. Not going to grade anybody. Uh, you maybe need to get let me ball. let me finish here, Jim, and then I'll, I'll let you ask another question. Um, you know, when when you lose, uh, nobody did enough, and we're not going to have that mentality. Well, this guy played good, uh, but we lost. Uh, we're trying to create a, a culture and an environment that when you lose, uh, everyone has to be better. There's an accountability, and some guys probably watching the tape will go back and. Some guys probably played uh, well, uh, but there's always going to be some things that we can improve on. Uh, with that being said, we'll see the tape. We'll see some of the operations. Um, you know, made a few plays there late. Uh, probably missed some opportunities, just like every every game, especially at that position at quarterback. You have a follow up. How do you think you protect them as a whole today? I mean, I think that there were some times where we had pockets. There was times where he had to step up, and there was times where he he got sacked, and so. Whether he needed to get the ball out or uh, had time, you know, I know, you know the, the, the red zone one, they bring six, so we've got six to block six. You know, they zeroed us out, um, you know, and got on them pretty quick. So if you're looking at that one specifically, not good enough. Uh, probably some other times where it was. So it's always going to be a combination. What was the problem with the, with the secondary? I mean, it's not you guys go zone, they're picking that apart. They Oh, man, they, oh, man. It's, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta get on them, challenge them, cover them. You know, looking at Rogers, you know, first third down, I thought he was over there square challenging. I didn't I didn't necessarily see the the same thing that uh, that the Aaron saw over there, but he saw some restriction on third down, and then you know maybe get a little gun shy. We got to get a little better effort from the safety over the top. You know, playing two man, and they throw the ball deep. I've never seen that. You know, that that's new for me. Uh, around this league, uh, throw the ball, you know, vertical and, and two man. So, you know, I guess that would be something, um, you know, and then just making sure that we, we, we challenge when we need to challenge, that we're playing with, with vision and break uh, when, when we have those zone opportunities, uh, and then making sure that you tie everything in. And it's never going to be about the pressure and, you know, make sure that's talked about. Sometimes there's pressure and something, you know, we got to start combining both of those. We, we have to combine. Uh, what the coverage concept is and execution and knowing what we can give up 
and, and knowing what we can't uh, at each coverage. When we play man coverage, not getting picked on third and three when, when a running back leaves the backfield, um, that, that should not be any, any surprise uh, that those things would happen on third and three in man coverage. So you know, keep coaching it, keep repping it, and uh, you know, keep working. What's one area, Mike, where you feel like it's, there's some kind of steady improvement going on? Uh, again, it was you know when you lose, it's hard to identify uh, those types of things. You know, there there were some. Again, you look at some of these plays that that we hit, and you know, we hit a few plays offensively. It's just the ability to sustain. Um, you know, one guy here, one 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 pressure. Um, you know, we're in the red zone. You know, we you know, hit hit a couple plays that we liked. We just need to get down there more often. Like I said, defensively, it seemed like it was one or two plays a drive and the penalties. You know, one of the keys of the game is winning a pre-snap matchup, whether that's the shifting and the motioning, uh, the hard count uh, that we knew that Trevor Lawrence was, was going to use. Um, you know, so those things, those penalties cost us on third down. So, you know, there were some decent uh, first and second down uh, plays defensively you know, early on, but uh, just not consistently enough. And then... You know, turn the ball over. We give them field position, and you know, we've done well in the red zone traditionally you know, this year. But you know, it, it, every week's a different week. They got, they got fourteen points off of those two turnovers. Mm -hmm. how, how frustrating is it? It seems like Brewers had some issues with snaps here somewhat recently, and then obviously punt return's been a consistent issue at times. Yeah, I mean, we're long snapper's a good player. You know, we got to count for him, which you know, we did, and got to the tackle. We had got the first first down, and we know how critical taking care of the ball is, and, and whether it was close to him being down or not, they raked it out of there. And so that was one. And then, uh, you know, the, the snaps are, you know, well, so I have to snap 100 a day instead of the 50 that we snap right now. And I you know, can't, can't operate under center the entire game. That's probably not going to be a possibility, so we better get them figured out. And, uh, Making sure that everybody's on the same page of where the ball's coming needs to be there. Quarterback's got to help them out, just like the quarterback throws a ball that's imperfect. I like to see the receivers try to help them out. I'm not saying that that's Will's responsibility, but you know, when, when things like that happen, you know, hopefully other guys can, you know, catch the ball, get on it when it's on the ground. You know, I mean, we can't we let one mistake turn into a couple more. Frustrating to give up 14 points off turnovers. It can't. We're not in a position to do that. How much inability to run the ball hurt you again today? Uh, well, I mean, I think that it's always going to be a factor. You know, I thought we had some runs that we liked, and you know, we're probably close on some, and yeah. ha had some good positive gains, and then you know, just the efficiency and the volume and the ability to create and, and run more plays. Like, we run 40 plays, and think that we're going to beat anybody. That's not going to you know, be possible. It's not fair to, it's not fair to the defense, and that's not fair to the players on offense. Who, you know, if we can make a play, and then we can you know, counterbalance that with another play, and then comes back to somebody else, and then Derek gets touches, and Tajay, and Hop, and you know, Nick, and the receivers, and the shot to Chris, or you know, Chig, or why, and everybody starts to get some plays that complement each other. But you know, when you run 40 plays, and it's not going to be enough. No, Jeff just does his job, comes to work every day, tries to, to, to do his job, tries to help lead this football team. He's frustrated like everybody else. Uh, it was a play that we've liked, a play that we've repped, and uh, you know, Tim felt comfortable calling it, and uh, then they executed. Do you think your that? job security is an issue, Mike, or going to be? Oh, Paul, I don't, I don't try to concern myself with that. I, I really am focused on these players. I, I hurt for them. I like I played 14 years, won some games, won some championships. I, 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 I am frustrated for the players. I'm disappointed for the players. I want them to have success. I know how hard uh, they they work and that they put it in, put into it. So that's what my focus is. My focus is on on coaching this team, of trying to to get these guys to understand that there's a fine line in this league of winning and losing, and. Uh, and, and finding a way to get a win. That, that's what I'm focused on. I'm not, 
I'll let you guys, you know, fire me each week or not fire me. I don't, I really, I apologize. I appreciate your question. I do. I will always understand that. We, we have to improve and we have to win. Those are things that we have to do. Why can't they get better results? Well, I mean, we're just, sometimes we do have some results and, you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't translate into uh, victories because of the, some of the mistakes. And so I, I can't, I have to do a great job of trying to continue to show us the things that we did well, the things that uh, are minor mistakes, and then the ones that, that get us beat. And those will be the things that we'll always do and uh, start to complement each other, start to play you know, better field position and, and try to create some turnovers on defense and take care of the football and you know, win, this, win the kicking game each week and be able to flip fields when we have to with Stoney and you know, get the first first down and all those things that we've done you know, that we have to you know, get back to. You guys have come on focus so much over your time here on the week to week. When your situation is what it is now and the goal is seemingly getting harder and harder to get to the playoffs or win the division, can you continue to focus on the week to week or how do you, how do you keep them centered inside that locker room? It'll be something that we'll have to figure out here real quick. You know, stay consistent. You know, like I said, just that's what I've tried to always do here, stay consistent and Figure out who we got. That'll be that'll change this week based on injuries and everything else, and put a game plan together, coach them, teach them. And I think the consistency uh, in the end is, is gonna is gonna is gonna work. I know it. You know this sucks right now. Nobody wants to be where we're at. Not me. Not anybody. And uh, but we are. You know, we put ourselves in this position, so we'll we'll, we'll get ourselves out. Do you see that where? I don't know. You have a chance to talk to him. You know what I mean, I'm not going to speak. No, I'm going to come to work. I'm going to get up. I'm going to sleep five hours like I do, and I'm going to come with a resolve. And I'm going to be thankful this week with Thanksgiving. I'm going to be thankful for this opportunity that I have to coach. I'm going to be thankful for my family. I'm going to be thankful for this team, and I'm going to coach the hell out of them like I do every week. And I'm not, you know, it. Uh, and I love Romeo Cornell. Not only was my position coach, I got to coach with him, and he always used to say, "It's a great life. You don't let it beat you down." And uh, you know, we're not going to let it beat it down, but we're, we're going to get back to work. And you can still be frustrated and upset and disappointed, but uh, you know, I'm also going to be thankful and hopeful you know, for the opportunity that I get to coach this football team. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Mark. I have done this one. Okay. I get what, Will, I guess, was, I guess just the overall frustration leaving here uh, today when I had to dig out of a hole. Just not executing on the keys that we talked about all week. It's been the same theme which is being efficient on first and second and coming out and starting strong. And, you know, I got to look internally what I can do for myself better. We all got to look internally, but we also got to look at the guy next to us and do what we can to help the dudes next to us and come together as a team right now. But it's frustrating. In these moments, how, how important is it for you guys to not press beyond, like, trying to do what it is that's within your control? Yeah, I mean, that's, we made that point towards the end there. Like, we're still playing our style of ball, even the, when you're in a position there. It's easy to think that you got to force something, you got to try to make something happen. We talk about wanting to make a play, someone's got to step up making a play, but um, you know, being aggressive, but um, being not reckless with decisions and with the ball in our hands. You feel like there's something since you've taken over that's gotten like at least incrementally better over that period of time with the offense, or is that part of the struggle with the, that there's not something? I mean, we definitely have hoped for some more improvement over the last few weeks. Um, we thought we did some great things in practice to put us in a good spot to execute today, but that's, we just didn't do it. And that's what it comes down to is going out there, executing the game plan, and uh, too many mistakes that put us in bad position. At the risk of sounding redundant, is that is that really where the disconnect is coming? You guys feel good about it in practice, and then it just doesn't manifest in the game? Yeah, like that's the worst when you have a, a good week of practice, and then you can't let it transition into Sunday. And um, I feel like that's that's the case both these last couple weeks. Like I feel like we had two really good solid weeks of practice, and the focus just wasn't there. Um, Come game day, so got to figure out how to how to, how to fix that. Um, Leadership, we got to step up and figure out what we can do. Um, but yeah, it's it's disheartening for sure. When you say focus, just what do you mean? Is it stuff that's being mistaken? Play yeah, or just kind of just how do you define that? operationally? Um, and I'd say uh, what's the word? Just being fast 
in and out of the huddle and not having everyone freak out and just being able to understand that, you know, like today, the looks we saw, a lot of them were, you know, looks that we'd practiced against and being able to recognize it quickly, getting us in a position where we can get the protection set so we, we can get our guy, all of our guys out. Too many instances where um, either I could help us in protection or just guys not locked in on the snap count, which has been, again, a reoccurring theme here the past few weeks, which just can't happen. You, you mentioned getting fast out of the huddle. Is that something like do you have to spit the play out faster? Does that have to get to you faster? What will make that faster? I think it's just an uh, urgency all around, just getting guys after a second down right back in the huddle as fast as possible so that we can utilize cadence. Too many times where we were trying to, but we weren't able to get out of the huddle fast enough, so we, we, we couldn't use that cadence to get us um, the, the protection change or whatever look we wanted to get. Uh, so it's just me this week emphasizing again to the guys how fast we need to be in and out of there uh, after second down. When you have a game just get out of hand like this, you know, you guys are struggling, what do you say to the rest of the team, the offense specifically, like, to keep them going each and every season? Yeah, I mean, just, just keep being us. Play our style of ball. And we were preaching that towards the end there. Didn't matter what the score was. We are going to execute the game plan, execute the play. Like I said, situationally can't affect how we're going to be playing ball. We got to just play our game and just lock in one play at a time. Because when we do that and we string drives together, good things happen. Um, but it just, you know, we can't have an explosive play down there and we can't bobble the snap. And, and then when that happens, like that can just change the game just like that. So understand how, how just important all these little things are. It's hard to celebrate plays after a loss. That the, you ever think you throw a touchdown pass to, to Jeffrey Simmons? Uh, no, I mean, we've, we've had that play up in the playbook for a couple of weeks. And it's nice to get it off, and I'm happy for him to get his first study. You guys talk all the time about flushing losses by the time Monday comes around. Is that going to be tougher to do as they kind of pile up? Uh, no, I mean, I, th I think that, you know, for professionals, I think we all have a good mindset of just moving on and, and learning from the mistakes. And I've been proud of how we've attacked each and every week these past couple of weeks, regardless of how that previous game went. Uh, it just sucks that. You know, we, we have that great week, and we're not able to let it transition into Sunday. So just got to put it all together, have, six, have seven days instead of just six.